In this video, I'm going to show you how I've taken my Mac Mini and turned it into a portable productivity system. I take it with me wherever I go, to and from school, or when I'm traveling. And the Mac Mini is a super powerful computer, so it can do all sorts of things, and it's quite small, so you can imagine that's quite easy to carry around with me. But you might be asking, wait a second, don't you need a keyboard and a pointing device? Something that you can interact with the computer with? We do. And more importantly, don't you need a monitor, some way to see the work that you're doing? Well, in this video, I'll show you my solution for my pointing device and my keyboard, and I'll show you how I can have up to three monitors with my Mac Mini, no matter where I go, without adding very much bulk. My name is Frank, and here on this channel, we look at how we can use technology to learn and teach more effectively and be more productive. I have a master's degree in learning and technology, and I've been teaching for many, many years. Let's take a look at the first thing I'm going to need in order to make my Mac Mini a portable solution. I'm not going to carry a keyboard with me. That's a little bit too big. Even if I was to get a Mac keyboard, that's a little bit too big. And even if I was to get a Mac small-sized keyboard, that's still too big. What I can do, though, is I can get this keyboard. This is not just a keyboard but it is also a trackpad. So this portable keyboard is a full-sized keyboard. It allows me to have full-sized keys, which is really nice if I'm doing a lot of typing. It's Bluetooth connected, and it does allow me to have a trackpad. So this then becomes my entire input device for my Mac Mini when I'm going portable. I have a nice little case to carry it in, and now I just have my Mac Mini and my keyboard, and I'm all set to go except of course, now I need a monitor. Now you may have seen another video if you've watched the channel before where I take my iPad and I use that as a monitor for my Mac Mini and I'll link that down below if you're interested in using your iPad as your monitor. But now we have a new solution, a solution that allows me to have a 152 inch monitor or three monitors together stacked or vertical all sorts of different configurations, and that's the new Vitcher Luma Pro glasses. These XR glasses will plug into my Mac Mini, and then I'll have a private set of monitors in front of me that are 4K-like displays that will allow me to see and configure all of the different things that I want to do with my Mac Mini in a private way in a way that allows me to do so in a form factor that is very, very portable. So now with a combination of my Mac, my portable keyboard, and the Vitcher Luma Pro glasses, I have a completely portable Mac Mini solution with multiple displays. Let's have a look at it in action. I've found a study kiosk that I'm going to use my Mac Mini at, so I'll take out my portable keyboard, I plugged in my Mac Mini, now we do want to have power for the Mac Mini, I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end of the video, but here I have my full-size keyboard, I'll take out my Vitcher Luma Pro glasses, take out the cord to plug them into the back of the Mac Mini, and you'll want to plug them into the back of the Mac Mini so that you have a display port, the Thunderbolt port will allow you to have display come through to the glasses, so we'll just go ahead and plug those into the Mac Mini, and we'll just plug it in the back there. And then I'll be able to put on these glasses and have this giant display in front of me. So you'll see a large display in front of me once I connect into them. This display is floating in front of me. I'm able to go through. In this case here, I've decided for the ultra-wide display. I could set it up so that instead of the ultra-wide, I have three monitors that are all side by side. I can look around to the different monitors side by side. Everything is private and everything is contained all within this one very small uh, set of tools that I've brought with me. Bringing the Vitcher Luma Pro glasses with me wherever I go is easy, convenient, and provides me the ability to have all of those screens with me for when I bring my Mac with me. It's a lot easier than trying to carry an external monitor or three. Now the one thing with the solution that I've shown you in this video is that I do need power. The Mac Mini does require some power in order for it to work, and using an external battery pack is not really convenient. 
even though the draw on a Mac Mini is between, let's say, 25 to 65 watts, depending on the load, we can't just use one of those small batteries that has the 100 watt outlet. I wouldn't trust that to run the Mac Mini. I am experimenting with that a little bit. You really would need to have a portable power supply, and those are fairly heavy. They kind of defeats the purpose of portability. So this is a great solution where you want to have a very small portable Mac Mini with the foldable keyboard, with the cool glasses that allow me to have the big displays. It doesn't take up a lot of space, but I do want to be going from location to location where I can plug in my Mac Mini. For me, it's perfect because I bring it to work and school. For me, that's the same thing. And I'm able to plug it into a study cubicle or I'm able to, able to plug it in in a, a cafeteria area where there is an outlet, whatever the case may be. If you do not have access to power in the destinations that you're going to, then you're really going to be looking at a laptop solution or something that can carry a battery with it so that you have power when you don't have uh, main power. But for me, the power of that Mac Mini, the glasses, the keyboard, it's such a small form factor that bringing it with me is not just convenient, but allows me to have all of the powerful features of my Mac Mini wherever I am. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It gives you some ideas and such. Comment down below on what you're doing with your Mac Mini to make it portable. Do you bring it with you when you travel? Is it something that you just leave at home? Let me know, I'd be very interested. And if you like learning how we can use technology to be more productive and to learn and teach more effectively, then check out some of my other videos. And if you like those, maybe subscribe. See you in the next video, take care.